Hello and welcome to this week's Uxbridge High School vlog. It's very proud that I'm talking to you in front of our wonderful sixth form students. That's going to give you a sense of one of the things that I'm going to talk to you about today. So there's three main themes of today's vlog. Firstly, I'm going to talk to you about the culture that we're trying to embody at the school. The second thing I'm going to talk to you about is parental engagement. And the third thing is what we like to call independent practice or being able to have the skills to work independently for the benefit of improving your learning. So firstly, I want to talk to you about culture. If you remember in the first vlog, I spoke to you about staff training and one of the things that we focused on in staff training was developing the right culture in this school where every young person feels like they belong and every adult feels like they belong. One of the fantastic things about our school here is the diversity. If you look around me we have young people and staff from all different backgrounds and we want everyone to feel very very welcome at this school. You won't, it won't have gone unnoticed about the problems that we had in the summer holidays with this theme and that some of the violent things that happened in the violent act. So it's important that all staff and students recognise that Uxbridge High School has that same motto where there is no neutral position on racism or any other form of discrimination. So all of the adults will be talking to you about the young people because the culture, the gold standard culture at this school is that we really see representation from all of the different protected characteristics, that we really see an opportunity for all of the different protected protected characteristics and in order to do that everyone must feel that sense of belonging so teachers and um, our sixth form students really recognize that they have a role to play in that culture and that we have more in common than the things that divide us so please parents can you support us with that at home it's really important that young people get their consistent message because education really is the tool that will change some of the views that create some of the discrimination in the world because a lot of those views come from a, a lack of understanding about what it is that actually makes Britain the great British country that we're really so proud of. Alongside that theme, I wanted to talk to you about parental engagement. So that's one way you can get involved in the school, sharing those same views and those same messages at home. Obviously, it's really important to us as a school in relation to parental engagement that you share our gold standards and you really believe in the gold standard vision that we're trying to create at, that, at this school. With that in mind, I wanted you to know that if you're not 100% happy and you're not feeling like we're delivering the gold standards, we do want you to reach out to us and we do want you to let us know. Any concern you have, we will address, okay? But we really want you to make sure that you maybe approach those concerns in the right way and understand that we're constantly trying to develop trust between staff in school, parents and the young people. And the more trust they have between all three of those parties, the better we can be. So please, if you have any concerns, just feel free not to let us sit on them, contact at the school in the usual way and if for any reason you don't feel they've been addressed then just a reminder that on a Monday after school without an appointment you can come and see myself or a member of the leadership team and we'll work together to come up with a suitable solution because ultimately we want the very best for every young person. So the final thing and the reason that I'm in the sixth form here is that we're trying to promote the idea of independent study. It's very important that by the time the young people get to sixth form age they have the ability to work independently. So in every lesson we have independent practice where students work on a task that the teachers been teaching and at home we sometimes set them some independent work to do at home whether that's on Seneca Learning whether that's on some of our on other online platforms like Bedrock whether that's um, you can check things on class shots and things like that to see how well students are doing that independent practice and again that's one way that parents can get involved in learning at home please if you're a year seven parent check that you understand how um, to do all of those things at home and there'll be more on that theme at the year seven welcome evening this week uh, many thanks from me, and I'll see you same time, same place next week. Hello, I'm Miss Jingles. I'm uh, the SLT member in charge of Safe Form, and I just really want to say how excited we were this year to welcome so many young people joining Year 12. We have one of the biggest Year 12 cohorts we've had in a long time, and I think that's really down to the environment and um, the young people we have coming through the school. So I'm foreseeing a fantastic year with them, and we're looking forward to watching how they progress through the next two years. And with me, I have Goffran, who's decided to join us this year. Um, my name's Goffran, I am uh, currently year 12. I just came back to the school and I do biochem and psychology for my A-levels. I decided to come back because I really enjoy the support that the school has given me, and I believe that it is the right environment for me, so yeah. Thank you. So, and we welcome any new people. We've still got room if there's anyone else would like to join us, but uh, we just want to emphasize how well the sixth form is progressing and has done over the last few years. Thank you.